This is the key to the Unit 3 study guide. So question one, alternate interior angles. They are shown as listed. So angle one and angle two, and seven and eight corresponding. We have five and seven, one and four, three and two, and eight and six for those. Same side interior angles are on the same side of the transversal on the inside. Alternate exteriors, exterior angles on the outside and on opposite sides of the transversal. And finally, vertical angles, 5 and 8, 1 and 3, 7 and 6, 2 and 4. Question 2. Name two parallel planes. Remember, you can name planes with at least three points. You can use more than that as well. So, this could vary, but you can choose the top... KLM and the bottom are QP. A line parallel to NQ, NQ is on this side, so a line parallel to it might be something like line MP. A line that is skewed to NQ might be a line like SP. SP goes a different direction and is not in the same plane as NQ. Finally, a line that is perpendicular to NQ might be something like QP. Forms a right angle with it and intersects at one point. Question 3. Given A parallel to B, how does angle 2 relate to angle 1 and 4? Well, angle 2 in relation to and 4, in this case, are angles that are supplementary, and 1 and 2 are also supplementary. Form a linear pair. Question 4. What type of angles are 1 and 2 in the diagram below? Well, 1 and 2 have to be right angles. Let me go back here. Have to be right angles. And what do we know about lines G and H? G and H have to be perpendicular. If these two angles are supplementary and they're congruent by the markings, they're both 90. Hence, we have right angles. Hence, we have perpendicular lines. Question 5. So in this diagram, this first diagram here, we have two angles that are same side interior angles. So 3x plus 40 plus 2x plus 60 will equal 180. If I combine like terms on the left side and take 100 away, I find out that x is 16 when I divide by 5. In the second part of number 5, 3x minus 4 and 59 degrees are corresponding angles, so they're congruent. So if I add 4 to both sides and divide by 3, x is 21. Is A parallel to B on number 6 if angle 2 equals angle 4? So if angle 2 is equal to angle 4, uh, no, because those angles are vertical angles. To the right, is, is A parallel to B if angle 5 equals angle 6? The answer is yes, because angle 5 and angle 6 are alternate exterior angles. Are the lines parallel if 1 equals 2? The answer is also yes, because those two angles are alternate interior angles, and they're equal. And 1 is congruent to 8 equals 180? Well, that's nice. They're supplementary angles, but they don't prove that any lines, in this case, are parallel. Question 7. Parallel lines have the same slope and perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slope. Number 9. Tell whether the lines through the given points are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So for line A, we're going to find the slope. And for line B, we're going to find the slope there as well. And just in case you need the slope formula, there it is. You should know it. But line A has a slope of negative 4. Line B has a slope of negative 4. So we can say that the lines are parallel in this case. Question 10. Write the equation of a line parallel to the line with an equation of y equals 8x plus 6. Passing through 3 comma, 9. First thing, 
We know, since it's parallel, the slope has to be the same, which is 8. We then plug everything we know into y equals mx plus b. So y is 9, m is 8, x is 3 plus b. Solving for b, we get 9 equals 24 plus b. b equals negative 15. And our final answer is going to be y equals 8x minus 15. Moving right along. Perpendicular. Perpendicular is going to have opposite reciprocal slopes. So we're going to have a slope of negative one-fifth. Again, plugging things into y equals mx plus b. Uh, putting 4 in for y. m is negative one-fifth. x is 10 plus b. So a fifth of 10 is 2, making it negative. We're going to add 2 to both sides, and there's a b of 6, which gives us a final answer of negative one-fifth x plus 6. To the proofs we go, we first of all know that we have parallel lines. So that's going to be our first step. We have L is parallel to M, and angle 4 is congruent to angle 5. That's given. We need to find an, we need to prove A is parallel to B. So somehow we need to tie some angles together. So if we were to say in step two that angle four is congruent to angle one, because L and M are parallel, angle one and angle four are congruent because they are alternate interior angles and they're congruent. Now since four is congruent to one and four is congruent to five, we can say that one is congruent to five by substitution or transitive property. And finally step four, since angle one is congruent to five, that makes a parallel to B, and the reason for that is it is the converse of corresponding angles being congruent. Let's look at the next proof, 13. Proof 13 here it is. So we'll start with the given. If I can ever get there. Starting with the given, we have L parallel to M. We have A parallel to B, so everything's parallel. We need to prove one is congruent to 7. So we need to find an angle that ties together with 1 and 7. Different things we could do. Here's one option. One option is we could say, okay, well, 1 is congruent to 3, because 1 and 3 are, in this case, corresponding angles. And they're congruent, and in the same step, I can also say 3 is congruent to 7 for the same reason. Finally, 1 is congruent to 7 by transitive property, or we're substituting something in for something else, substitution or transitive either way. 14, last one. We've got given A is parallel to B. We are trying to prove that angle 1 is congruent to 8, so we need to find an angle that ties together with 1 and 8. So how about uh, let's do 4? Because angle 1 is congruent to 4 because vertical angles are congruent. And we know that angle 4 is congruent to 8 because those are corresponding angles that are congruent. And finally, 1 is congruent to 8. Substitution, transitive property, works as well. That's a study guide. Good luck on your test. Make sure you go over any questions that you missed on the study guide so you're raring to go.